Good morning. Happy Monday. We are smack in the middle of March. And uh, can I broach the idea on a Monday of spring cleaning? Some of you, I bet, love a power spring cleaning surge this time of year. Some of you, I would also wager, uh, breathe a heavy sigh when it comes to power cleaning. Hey, I'm Andy Ross. I'm one of the pastors at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. Hope your week is starting well. Thanks for clicking on this video. In our schedule of scripture readings for today, we are directed to the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 7, where God's word through the prophet is clean up your act. Do some cleaning. Clean up the way you live, the things you do, so I, God, can make my home with you in this place. And the message from Jeremiah is, look, don't just talk. This is God's place. Uh, this, is, this is our church. This is God's community. This is God's country. Be careful. God's word is, the way we welcome God into our homes, into our church, into our city community, is the way that we are living by God's guidance. How we are not cheating other people or oppressing people or taking advantage of people no longer taking advantage of innocent people on this site, destroying your souls by using this temple as a front for other gods. Only then will I move into your neighborhood. It causes us to ask important questions of how am I living? How do I need to clean up my act? That's what the season of Lent is about, for us to reflect on our living and live in a way where the presence of God is welcome, is at home with us. We need to be thinking about how in our communities we are treating the poor, those who don't feel like they have an equal chance. Anyway, those are some big thoughts for a Monday. Spring cleaning is good. I know in the Ross house, when company comes, we clean. <laughs> and sometimes we'll even say, we're so glad you're here. Now we can stop cleaning. How is God asking you to clean up your life today or through this week? We can certainly start with prayer. Blessings of God's word and spirit to you this day and always.